And another throw over. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. He waits. Now the pitch. Fouled back. A runner on first with two away. From the stretch. This ball will be chopped foul. Now a move over to first. Don't want to forget about him. And again a throw. And he'll dive back in safely. Another 0-2 now from Wainwright. Now a ball lined towards center field. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Will Kilpatrick will stand in with runners at the corners now as he looks for a third straight two-out hit here in the inning to maybe get him a run after all. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back safely. And another throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. Runners at the corners, two men out. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The right-hander deals on one and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit, you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Holiday is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Cubs strand a couple. They lead it three to nothing. Johnny Peralta will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Johnny Peralta. In there, no balls and a strike. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Swing and a line drive to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Greg Garcia will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. Swing First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. One oh on the way. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner and it's paid big dividends for him. The 1-1. One, one. Fastball called strike. One and two. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. The one and two with one away. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. And I'll tell you what. A 3-0 lead with the way this guy's throwing must look like a 10-0 lead to these guys. I mean, they just haven't been able to solve him at all so far. Colton Wong is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher, Wainwright. Colton Wong.
There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1 and 0. And now a pitch on the way. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Yeah, he started to go up the ladder there, but then he realized in time that he wasn't going to get there. In there, two and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Here it comes, two and one. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail it here three to nothing. Matt Belisle will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Leading off for the Cubs. Left fielder, Michael Brantley. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And stepping in now is the catcher, Miguel Montero. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back. Another look to first, and he'll dive back in. And yet another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in there. Another throw over. And he'll get back in safely. First offering on the way. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through. A base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And that's not a good start to the inning on the mound. Back-to-back -back hits have him in trouble again. And at this point, they can't afford to let this deficit get any wider than three. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Now a look and a throw back to second. But the runner's back easily. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Now Lester squares and gets this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Dexter Fowler will stride in again. And before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Ken Benitez will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now here's the first pitch, and the first pitch misses high here, perhaps trying to get him to pop something up. It's 1-0, and oh. and I think he's going to have to summon up every bit of his experience to get out of this one. Well, he's certainly been through it before. If anybody can do it, he can. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land foul, shy of the wall. Here comes the 1-1. And that misses 2-1. Well, he's starting to put himself into a no-win situation. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run. But you can't just throw a cookie in there, because he can bring in four with one swing. A 2-1 offering. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Oh 
Here he comes on two and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Two, 2 pitch on the way. Line to left. And that's going to get down out there. And he is in there. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4-0 advantage now. Anthony Rizzo will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. First pitch coming. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And this guy's been in situations like this so many times before. He's got plenty to call on upstairs to try to help him work out of this jam. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Peralta for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. John Jay will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point. So a good idea there just to wait for strike one. Now Lester deals the 1-2. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains 1-2. and two. Another 1-2 delivery. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. Matt Carpenter will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now the first pitch here from Lester. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. One out, nobody on. Here's the 1-0. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Fowler has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. You know, there's a lot of pressure on the defense to make a play in a game like this. Everything's magnified at this point. So that's a really good job to stay with this ball and make the play. Matt Holliday will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. And yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that, hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that thing off. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Carlos Villanueva will get the 